WFNN. Headline News Update. And welcome to the 2 p.m. update. If you've been in a cave, you didn't know that we uh, had big numbers at 8.30. A huge run that squeezed almost every short that uh, probably was capable of holding on to a short out of the market. Uh, We were up, let's see what that actually is. I want to say up about 100 points. See what that here uh, range Okay. Okay, we went to forty-one hundred ninety-six cents. Uh, so we're a what eighty-five off of that right now, uh, and uh, so we've given back. Well, yeah, we've given back seventy-five percent of the bounce so far. We'll call it roughly that. Um, still up uh, seven tenths of a percent, but. Uh, on the S&P and a little bit more on the NASDAQ, but you had a lot of volume. Uh, they certainly clean the decks of uh, anybody that is short. That's when things really uh, get uh, worrisome if you do come into some bad news. Those folks that would be able to be uh, covering on the way down are no longer there. So the risk picks up, at least for me, a great deal. Doesn't mean that the market's going down. Just means if it does go down, there won't be many people to naturally have to buy, i.e. being short. So are there a few people short? I imagine a few people shorted uh, the highs today. There was no real good signal to do that. And, of course, we're on FedWatch now, and that is, uh, I don't know, well, 23 hours and 59 minutes uh, from now, we'll get the word from the Fed. And then, of course, uh, the uh, well, about 45-minute presser that runs from 2.30 to 3.15. Then we'll find out whether the Fed is uh, going to throw another wet blanket on the market, which is my guess. Uh, anyway, that's kind of it. We had a lot of volume. We didn't hold the highs. We've got yet another kind of ugly candle up here around the highs. So we'll see you tomorrow. Hang on, we'll have the show in just a few minutes. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. 